Welcome back to yet another episode of Black Mesa, which is the Half-Life remake. Uh, I mentioned in the previous episode that I was going to use the bathroom, and I was very serious about that, so good luck. Okay, now that Jacob's gone, someone send help. He's got me welded to my chair. I don't know how I can leave. I don't know my coordinates. I barely know my address because I am dumb. If you're trying to escape, but uh, molasses, if uh, he ever asks you about what happens during the recording, tell him. Or because I know that you fucking hate me, you're gonna rat me out anyway. So uh, I know secrets that you don't think I know. Or do I? Just think about that for a second, why don't you? Okay. Uh, uh, so I suppose while I'm here, I might as well just uh, mention some other things. Uh, even though the, uh, the base game uh, did not have any achievements, uh, the remake does, because it is a Steam product. Uh, so there is an achievement for completely emptying a vending machine of all of its strengths. Or I believe uh, getting a total of 20. I don't know the full number. But... Ah, there we go. Caffeine extraction. <laughs> yes, jolly good show, I say. Good show. Well, that's something to come back to. Uh, yeah, I, I killed some Vortigaunts, and uh, this uh, this very nice, lovely lady uh, complimented me on my killing ability. Oh, that's nice! That's that's really nice. Mm. It's nice when people recognize your skills, you know? Mm. Speaking of, right? So, like, I drink an insane amount of liquid on a daily basis, mm. right? So, it, it's, it's kind of absurd. So, every time I go pee, it's nearly colorless, mm. because I'm just taking in so much liquid, so... I can tell you that today, uh huh. So today I had six 500 milliliter bottles of Pepsi Zero, six mm -hmm. 500 milliliter bottles of Seven Up, six pouches of Capri Sun, three bottles of water, and a cup of tea. How was the tea? Mediocre, to be honest. It was Earl Grey, which is the only reason it was even worth anything. Oh, she did fucking dead. Why did you follow me? Probably because you hit the follow button. I thought she was going to stay with the other scientist. I... Oops. <laughs> oh, uh, she made that choice. I mean, that's not on me. She complimented your killing abilities. Shame she didn't compliment the turret's killing abilities. <laughs> Good show. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, speaking of Swiss cheese, I could go for a ham sandwich right about now. Beautiful. Now, I... I don't know if it's just some strange obsession, or if I'm just weird. Uh... I'm does. really not a fan of ham. Like, I can't stand so, it. So, okay. So, yeah, that, so that's a thing, right? Like, whenever you have ham, is it typically, like... Like holiday ham, you know, like a Thanksgiving or Christmas thing where it's like uh, slow cooked with like brown Jacob, sugar. I want you to re repeat that part of the sentence again for me uh, and think about where I'm currently standing in real life. I don't, I don't, uh, in your room? I don't. You said Thanksgiving or holiday ham. Yeah, that's why I specified holiday and then followed it up by saying Thanksgiving and Christmas. So that you would know what kind of thing I meant by holiday. You do know what Thanksgiving is, don't you? Yes, but we don't celebrate it. Okay, yeah. uh, day where you punch people or whatever you guys have. Uh, Boxing Day yeah, doesn't that. have a defined meal. Uh, Easter. You... I eat chocolate. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> you eat a giant piece of chocolate that's shaped like a ham. <laughs> and at Christmas, right? Uh, on Christmas, we usually have 
uh, turkey. Yeah, it's because you're wrong. So anyway, so here's the thing. When you have, like, Christmas, right? And, yo, okay, you have turkey. But, like, some places will do ham. And typically it's, like, it's slow roasted with pineapple and, uh, and, and brown sugar and stuff to make it, like, sweet. Uh, mm. And it's good. It's good. It's delicious. That's my, typically my preferred way to do um, ham. Uh, but a lot of other times, oh, my God. Uh, a lot of other times you get uh, what we typically call, like, country ham, which is where it's very heavily salted. Um, and then you have, like, the middle ground, which is, like, your deli meat. Um, yeah, like, uh, when I say ham, uh, in the UK, that, like, majoritively, uh, just refers to, like, yeah, like, sliced deli Okay, meat. so I the will agree stuff. with you a thousand percent that ham as a deli meat is incredibly overrated. Mm. Like, I absolutely love, like, roast pork joints, like, do any, absolutely anything to it, and I will love you. Roast uh, pork joints. So, like, when you've got, like, uh, a joint of pork that you've uh, roasted, and you've got all the, like, the crispy skin and stuff like that. Or if you've just got, like, um, a large joint that doesn't have, like, any skin to it, and, you know, you've just got that low and slow, and... Still doing Maybe you've here. Yeah, got some uh, pineapple Your or something with that. That's a really good thing. I don't think I've ever had that particular cut. But yeah, so uh, that style for like Christmas. Mm. Um, that's that's the good shit, right? With the pineapple and the brown sugar and everything. Mm. That's really good. But yeah, yeah, for us, that's just called Sunday. Ha! <laughs> must, must be nice. But no, like, um, that's, that's the good kind of ham, right? That's the kind where it's like, oh, fuck yeah, it's good. Uh, but the deli ham is just like, eh. I think one of the reasons the deli ham sucks so much is because you know what it could be. Mm. And it's just, uh, not. I think partially, uh, one reason as to why I might not like it quite as much, uh, is because I remember one time when I was a kid, um, I was really into Thomas the Tank Engine. Okay. And, um, uh, I was uh, out shopping with my mother, and uh, there was this uh, Thomas the Tank Engine shake ham. Like, what? As in, like, the sliced processed deli meat. What? Uh, like, you get super processed stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if they do it anymore. Um, but for people that are watching this, uh, if Lassie could bring up like a picture of like Billy Bear ham, or uh, you can get ones in like the shape of like a clown face and stuff like that, uh, which are like novelty items for kids, and they are absolutely disgusting. Oh. So I had that, and that shaped my idea of what ham is or should oh. be. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. So ever since then, like, my mind just thinks, ham bad, don't have. So it just kind of oh just makes God. me uncomfortable. <laughs> the chunks. But yeah, no, that, that absolutely makes sense. Um, I know a lot of people that have had experiences, not specifically with that, but experiences with other foods where it's like their first experience is such a bad experience that it kind of colors their opinion. Because they mm. just assume all ham tastes like that or all whatever tastes like that. Mm. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely believe that. Mm. Yeah, I really like the part where Jacob the Tractor talked about ham for a long time. I vaguely remember this place being oddly maze-like. I kind of, it's more, I find this place slightly more akin to like uh, a Resident Evil area, where it's just like object puzzle. Mm, yeah. Man, so Resident like Evil's, you... go ahead. It's just more, if you know why it is you're doing what you're looking for, mm. it's fairly straightforward. Ooh, a lot of good. Oh, damn. All mm. the goodies. 
Uh, Resident Evil is one of those game series that's really interesting to see how it changes over time. Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, we locked in. Hey, I forgot you were here. But yeah, it always fascinated me. Uh, because, like, the first game, right? Survival horror. And the second mm. game and the third game as well. And then the fourth one went a lot more action-y, but still maintained mm. some of that aspect. And then five, a lot less. Mm. Yeah, regards to... Uh, like Resident Evil, mm -hmm. like Resident Evil Four had so many like uh, so many different like prototypes in its development. Mm -hmm. They actually spawned like a bunch of genres. Yeah, I mean, like Devil uh, May Cry. Yeah, yeah, Devil May Cry was one of them. Uh, I believe God Hand oh, was wow, initially really? a, uh, Resident Evil Four. Uh, uh, prototype that was then semi canned, and then uh, they said, eh, just make a game out of that. Wow, that's crazy! It's cool, mm. it's cool that we got so many games from failed efforts, right? Mm. It's like we didn't fail to make a Resident Evil game, we succeeded in making something else. That's cool. I dig that. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, uh, when it comes to Resident Evil, actually, I, um, my first Resident Evil game was five. Minor which is, uh, 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 sure is something. I don't think I've actually gone through and sat down and played a Resident Evil game. I've oh, more wow. just watched them. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, they're fun and all, but you don't miss out too much. Uh, like, the, the experience of playing it, like, if you're, like, super into, like, the survival horror stuff, um, or, you know, that style of game, then you yeah, absolutely play them. But, like, I think that the story of those games is actually really interesting. Um, mm. It's not, like, super complex or anything, that's for sure, but mm. they're good. Uh, the Resident Evil series is... Not bad story. It's more like the story is just something to give cool things to look at. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very much the uh, the Fast and Furious of video game stories. That's an interesting way to look at it. Nice save. <laughs> I was too lazy to go back and pull <laughs> it back. Hey, if you got it, that's all that matters. Um. Yeah, so, uh, so those of you watching, uh, comment what your favorite Resident Evil game is and why. Man, really give that algorithm something to think about when you're watching Half-Life and you start talking about Resident Evil in the comments. <laughs> YouTube's gonna be like, what mm. the fuck? Mm. And also, like, somebody will have typed Wiener Schnitzel, like, previously, I hope, in, like, one mm. of the earlier episodes, because I'm an asshole. Mm. And, uh, for people that, uh will be looking through the comments and aren't really paying attention as to why people are commenting things. Uh, someone just types Troop Waffle. Troop <laughs> Waffle! That feel when you have to reload just a one bullet. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Wish I could climb up a ladder looking the wrong way like that. Whilst holding a gun in both hands. <laughs> yeah! Gordon Freeman's like Doom guy. Got an extra appendage in the middle. No, he's just got really flexible legs. Oh god. Oh god. That's a mental image I didn't need. Thanks a lot. This is the part where I tell Molasses to put that on the screen, but I don't think even Molasses could manage that. Mm. It's the distorted Doom guy with like super limber legs. Oh my god. Alright, so we're moving on uh, from that conversation because nope. Uh, I just had a mental image of uh, <laughs> of his legs moving around like the tentacles of uh, the creature in uh, Carrion. Oh, I've not played that, but I like. I wonder if it's like that um, that version of um, Samus, that like hand drawn Samus that I did, and then it got animated to have like flailing limbs. Oh my god, I'm gonna send that to Molasses. Molasses, put it on the screen. 
isn't that thing terrifying? Even though Tracker can't see it, Tracker's just gonna agree. Oh dear lord, what is wrong with your face? <laughs> oh sorry, I was I saw my reflection. Oh. Oh I thought. Okay, no, we're okay, it's fine. Tractor didn't insult me, it's fine. Maybe we can reason with it. And these people are Go supposed to be try. smart. Yeah. High intelligence, low wisdom. <laughs> yeah. Intelligence is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put it in a fruit salad. Charisma is using a fruit, uh, tomato-based fruit salad as salsa. Yeah. And selling it. It's true. And I love that. Mm. It's one of my favorite like things. Mm. Strength is crushing a tomato. Uh, dexterity is dodging a tomato thrown at you. Uh, constitution is being able to eat a rotten tomato and uh, not getting sick. I wouldn't jump down there. Uh, no, I was using this as a backdrop. Uh, uh, I have another fact. Oh, I'm uh, ready. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find one. Looking at it below, doesn't look like this one there. Uh, but since there is a taco there. Uh, -huh. uh, the taco model in, uh, the remake of this game, uh, it's somewhat fairly well detailed, uh, okay. however, for whatever reason, uh, the collision box for the taco goes like that. It's what? rotated 90 degrees for whatever reason. What? Uh, so if you try and shoot the taco to make it spin, if you shoot the wrong part... Well, it goes straight through. Oh my god. Anyway, watch me fail. Ooh, nice grab. Uh, nice. You got it, buddy. Oh my god, it's like one uh, of those... I'm sure you're as good at this as I am. <laughs> like, like one of those, those cat motivational posters. Just hang in there. <laughs> hang in there. There's some loving music on it. Thank you, molasses. You want some help? Wow. Man, if it let you do that, that'd be <laughs> brutal. Gordon Freeman is an absolute asshole. Oh, he took that <laughs> ragdoll. That was so dumb. Oh, that's why I love the Source Engine so much. Oh my god. That's so good. It's an accidental comedy game. Just like Oblivion. <laughs> or like any any serious game I play when chat ruins it with alerts. Every time. It happens every damn time. Oh. Oh yeah, there's just a loading gate. I forgot. We've got hostiles. Nice. Soiled it. Soiled it for. Oh, he's so dead. He's dead, but I'm drinking. So, uh. I'm a thirsty boy. <clears throat> I mean, I can't blame you. Is it, like. Is there any, like, canon explanation as to what energy powers the HEV suit? I don't think so. Um, <coughs> it's some form of uh, fuel fluid thing. Mm. Uh, and I'd have to go on some sort of deep dive to figure out if there is any sort of information uh, story is, but uh, they don't say it in the games, at least. Hmm. Interesting. So uh, those don't look particularly friendly. Mm. I wonder what happens if I do this. Oh no, Jack! Oh. Didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. <laughs> I thought it was gonna explode at. <laughs> oh man, I've been playing uh, too yeah, much Dead the, Space. Uh, red lasers are activations for turrets. Uh, blue lasers are the ones you don't want to step through. I mean, I don't think I want to step through the red ones either, to be honest. Yeah, but if you know where the turrets are, you know where you can go. Womp womp. Oh my god! It works. I stand corrected. Wow. 
Okay. See, Tractor knows what he's doing. It's fine. Mostly. I mean, you've been doing well so far, especially given that you have that lag. I haven't really had to do much of anything. This is nice. Here, yeah, I'm, you I'm gonna get kill to another see if I can... Here we go. I'm gonna kill the other head okay. It's gonna be great. So, uh, something else that I have to mention, right? There you go, you can have it back. <laughs> uh, so, so, something I forgot to mention, right? Is like, at this point, there should be, well, there'll probably be more out of the, like, by the time like people see this, but as, at the time of recording, we've recorded four series uh, for Field Ops with Friends. We've had, um, all right, we had Pokemon Snap, we had Metroid Prime, we had, uh, SpongeBob, and we had Dark Souls. And what's interesting is that all four of those games we played with a controller. So as far as using Parsec and like doing this like couch co-op type thing, this is the first game that's been mouse and keyboard. And so it feels really weird to just be like able to reach over with my mouse and keyboard and just yoink the controls away from you. Don't have to like rebind oh, anything, nothing like that. It just works. It's nice. You see, this is why the aliens need to coordinate better. If he was on time, they might have killed me. Yeah, but weren't you late for work? Hey, let's not point fingers. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not talking about me. We're talking about them. Nice. Okay. That seemed to have gone well. <coughs> Hot damn. Mm. See, I knew that they would spawn in this room. I just couldn't remember where the trigger was and where they would go. Mm. How, um, that is a terrifying sound. Okay. I have a machine gun. Yeah, it's doing you a lot of good, buddy. Well, you lost all your armor. And you're, you're still dying. Ah, oh, fuck it. Well. So how have your guys day been? Walk in there from like 67 holes in your chest. Ah, uh, good old morphine. <laughs> Yum. Keeps the body young, I guess. Keeps the body high as shit. <laughs> yeah. Can't be in pain if you can't feel anything. I, I mean. You're right. I don't like that you're right, but you're right. Man, that was, that was such a devastating blow to your armor. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit back here. That's nice. I remember uh, when, m most recent time I played this game, uh, I got absolutely fucked in that room too, so I have no room to talk. See, the further we get into the game, uh -oh. the less I get to remember the enemy placements. Oh. Asshole. Ooh, it's time for a submachine gun that has a red dot sight that you can't use. I don't need it. Yeah, it's just really dumb that it's there when you can't use it. Oh. I think it's in two that it has the sight. Oh, okay. Yep. Still can't use it. Still pisses me off. Hey, back to full health. Also, I just want to point out that mounting a grenade launcher to an MP5 is fucking stupid. And what's your reasoning for that idea? Uh, the MP5 is meant to be small, compact, lightweight, easy to wield. Adding a fucking tube to the bottom that holds a uh, fucking 20 or 40 millimeter grenade uh, round is stupid. Uh, yes, but when you're also carrying this, and this, and this, and all of these. Yeah, and an alien weapon. Doesn't... Uh oh, that's a grenade. 
I have the same idea, buddy. I think I saw a grenade. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, it gave me the prompts to fire grenade. Like, I do I recommend it. killing them. Man, that lag is fucking you up. Yep. There you go. It might be worth dying. I agree. I go out on my own terms! <laughs> I die am ring. good and ready. Alright, you get behind that box. You crouch down. Oh, okay. Going first. You crouch down, and then guess what's gonna happen? Yeah, you fucking guessed it. Next time I'll field out some friends, I'm gonna take over and blow all these fuckers to hell. All right, we'll see you guys next I'm time. I'm afraid for my life.